Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. Anybody who has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I have many different options. If you would like to enter to win a $100 giveaway, you can do that by just entering blessings, liking, and subscribing. But if you're doing well for yourself, let's allow this for our family members who could use the extra come up. If you, though, anybody can enter to win a free half hour reading just by commenting readings in the comment section, liking and subscribing. That is for everybody. This is for the Twin Flame Collective, all zodiac signs. We are going to get a check in on the energy, see where things are here. Y'all, I do have a four month old puppy that is a little rambunctious here. So um, I apologize if there is some background noise or if you can hear my air conditioning but it has been hot in PA and um, th this room, my, my central air does not cool it very well. So unfortunately I have had to put on a um, unit in the window. So let's get a check in on how you're feeling. How is the twins feeling about their counterpart right now, spirit? Mm, you feel there's a third party involved, period. You feel three's a crowd. You do not wanna be a third party. For a lot of you here, you um, this person, it, you feel they're deciding between two. For a lot of you, you feel like this person's your blind spot. Like perhaps um, because it is such an intense soul connection, you have blindfolded yourself a bit. And the longer you stay away, the clearer you are starting to see. I feel that you felt that you were very vulnerable with this person. You put, You let your guard down right you opened up to them you were vulnerable with your twin spirit tell me here what is what are the twins how are they feeling how are they feeling about their counterpart please one of us is sad or angry it's creating an energetic match in the frequency stay conscious of this and possible try to help us elevate we must, must remember that we are gods and goddesses and work on embodying that energy. Spirit is asking you here to remember that you all uh, send energetic frequency to one another. And if you are feeling mad, angry, etc., this person picks up on it or vice versa. You could be picking up on their energy here. You know, there could be something um, they're angry about or something going on in their life. A love like ours can change the world. Our inner child is crying out now. We both need to comfort them and become parents. For some of you here, this person triggered a lot inside of you. This was a love like no other. Um, you feel like this person opened up parts of you that you know were never opened or triggered things inside of you that you didn't even realize. Maybe you weren't aware that you had abandonment issues. Maybe you weren't aware that you know all of the things that were going on um, with you. Maybe this person has sparked your spiritual awakening. They definitely have opened you up a lot. And you can thank this person always for that. Now tell me about this third party situation, Spirit. There seems to be a love triangle going on right now. Yeah, this person here. For some of you, four of wands though, 11-11 coming out, but in reverse. For some of you, you could have been married to this person in a long-term connection with this person and they started seeing a third party. For others, you meant this person and they were already in a connection with somebody else. I feel a judgment call has been made, whether this was you walking away or this person walking away. You could be dealing here with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries. Definitely look at this person like they are your emperor or your empress. You could have children to them. Um, you feel though this person can be domineering, too controlled at times, and there has been a tower moment between the two of you. T tell me why, Spirit, what was this tower? I feel like for a lot of you here, um, something happened. You found something out. Yeah, the truth. Wow. About them being with another lover, right? Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups here. Very strong connection you share. For a lot of you here, this person uh, came to you and told you that they were seeing somebody else. Or if you were having an affair, the third party could have found out about you. I feel like for a lot of you here, um, it's made you feel very vulnerable. Yeah, something became public for sure. 
could uh, literally be something involving someone with children or something about children. I feel like for a lot of you, something happened in the past here between you and your person that was embarrassing to you. You felt like it was very embarrassing. Um, tell me what's going on here with the twins. You feel this person self-centered, like they're preoccupied. And again, third-party involvement with hazy vision. For a lot of you, you weren't seeing something clearly for a while. You were blinding yourself or a third party was blinding their self. And now everything is out in public. You, this person was living a double life. They have fear of loss, fear of loving. They avoid looking at this connection for what it is. Your twin seems to be avoiding you or avoiding um, the fact, you know, that you have a very deep soul connection. This person could be really 3D. They're very apprehensive and uncertain about the future, and so are you. I feel, you just know you are healing, and you will have victory in your life, twins. No matter what, whether this person comes back or they don't, you will have some sort of victory. You're definitely going to um, be victorious in this connection um, or in your life, right? For some of you, um, in, in here on planet earth you may never come into alignment with your twin but this was all to um propel you to a new level or to a new vibration so um you could uh, acquire some things here on you know in this dimension like uh maybe you they put you onto your path as a healer or they put you onto your path as 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 wanting to do something here that will help the collective there was a bigger reason behind this is what i'm saying so tell me how is the twins counterpart feeling how is the twins counterpart feeling right now currently present moment spirit yeah they're repeating the same old story they're not learning lessons they're going round and round they feel restricted they feel tied up here they feel victimized in a way. This person could play the victim a lot. They could um, play something like constantly um, blaming something for their downfalls or somebody else for their downfalls. I feel they're repeating the same old patterns. They have. Um, they, they could go out and have sexual encounters with other people. They feel a lot of sexual chemistry for you, though. They feel a lot of deep passion, sexual longing for you. Um, this person, if you all of a sudden start to feel turned on or you feel um, like very excited a lot sexually, it's because this person is thinking of you um, in a sexual manner. The other, you could have opened up this person's sacral or their sacral could be overactive right now. I feel like whatever the case is, there is um, the same old story repeating. Maybe this person has been back and forth between you and a third party uh, several times. Yeah, see, I feel the sexual energy between us, yet it's beyond physical attraction. It needs to be elevated to ex the expression of deep, unconditional love. This person loves you unconditionally, but they yearn for you sexually. And for some of you, you perhaps felt like this person only wanted a sex-based connection because I feel for some, that is their love language. This person's love language is having sex. These feelings overwhelm me and I become afraid. I sometimes even run away from you because of it. I need you to trust me and believe that I'm working towards union with you. For a lot of you here, this person just, wow, 333 three, three out here on the board. Really, really big spiritual awakening going on right now. Do you see that, y'all? 333. Three, three. This person um, gets afraid. They get overwhelmed. They start to um, wonder if they can even give you what, what you need. Are they ready for this? Why do they feel so intense? Why can't they walk away from you like they've walked away from others? Why can't they just move forward in their life, etc., etc.? I feel like for a lot of you, this person here gets all tied up in their mind. They've been fearful of loving. They've been fearful of allowing you in. But they yearn for you. They long for you. And they're hoping that there's rewards after this. They're hoping that you wait for them. I feel this period, there's been a long waiting period. But again, like I said, this person doesn't take responsibility. They blame other people. They play the victim. Your counterpart here um, pretends not to know the truth about your connection as well.
You do dominate their mind. You live rent-free in this person's mind. Um, I, I really sense here that this person is involved with a third party, that they could have a uh, something with, like children, a home, something like this. Um, but for a lot of you here, this person um, chose to reconcile with the third party instead of um, working on your connection or you meant this person and they were in separation from a third party from a karmic and then they decided to go back this person does want to settle your differences and you have sparked a deep personal transformation this person's going through a very deep they can no longer resist this change the divine is pounding down on them I feel this person and you could have argued a lot, could have fought a lot towards the end. Or for some of you, this is what's going on here with a karmic. They're fighting a lot. This could have been a long distance relationship or this person may travel for work. I feel that they have a difficult choice to make here. They're caught between two lovers. Um, they feel so intensely for you and they're not sure why. It scares the hell out of them on why they feel so intense. So tell me, Spirit, what does this person plan to do towards the twins, please? What is their plans? What is their plans? Yeah, they've been ghost. They've been hermit. They're coming out of some illusion, though. They're coming out of this, this place, this dark place. It's almost like they've only... You, you've only scratched the surface of this connection. They realize that they have breadcrumbed you. They want to come in and they want to give you their wand or they want to get your wand. This person is so sexually drawn to you that they can barely handle their self. Tell me about the difficult decision. Tell me about the difficult decision. For some of you, you meant this person and they had obligations elsewhere um, with somebody else. And this person had to uh, make a choice, so they rejected you. But now they're very apathetic, and they left their divine gift, which was you, walk out the door. They're hoping that you will wait. They're hoping that you will, um, you know, want to work with them in some way. They do want to come to calmer waters. This person could be trying to move on from a third party. Tell me about the fighting and the arguing, please definitely fighting and arguing with whoever they have a long-term connection with for some of you this person is fighting and arguing with family as well for some of you this person has daddy issues um, at in some way this person could be fighting with somebody else about money um, about whether or not they want to work on things for some of you this person acts as if they don't care about you but in reality they care a whole lot for some here, there's um, a fire sign or an earth sign that involved. You could be a fire sign. We have Virgo here, Cancer Pisces here, uh, a lot of Scorpio, Aries energy as well. I feel that um, at the end of the day, wow, that was quick spirit. Thank you. This person really wants to come in here and express themselves to you in some way. Plain and simple, I know you're my person. I just don't know where it goes or exactly or what it means. I do want to move forward. I want to move towards you. And I'm hiding the way I truly feel. Like I said, I felt this energy. 1330 on the clock. There's something about threes, y'all. Uh, this person um, really feels like they can't express their self or express how they feel about you around others or to you. For some of you, this was a secret relationship. This was a you know on the down low for some of you. For others, this person is trying to act like they're moved on, like they don't care anymore. They're lying to a third party and saying that they don't love you anymore, but they really do. This person is being strategic right now. They're not showing their hands, but I, I got to say they're planning something. I feel they're in a codependent relationship with somebody else. There's codependency, there's abandonment issues, and this person wants to come in here and have happiness. They want to enjoy um, life with you. But the thing is, is they know that they have to uh, hurt somebody. Somebody involved is going to get hurt. Somebody's going to be grieving. I do feel that this person could be going through a breakup with a karmic, if not now, very soon in the near future. There's going to be some changes here in your twin's energy. 
I feel that you're both mirroring one another. So remember that because this person's in introspection and um, they, they are looking at their wounds right now, really reminiscing, really thinking about you here. For some of you, this person's looking at your social. They're looking at old pictures. They're really um, taking a look at, at the past right now empath and narcissist though this person could have narcissistic tendencies they could be dealing with a narcissist this person could be an empath self that got involved with a narcissist a third party a narcissistic third party i feel for some i feel for some of you there's something special that you gave this person or a t-shirt that you left at their house or a a there's something that they have of yours a keepsake there's something that they have um that you gave them uh that they look at a lot um it could just be pictures but it's something like this uh that they they have kept meaningful date reconciliation timing is of great and point per and wow i just got bungled up there of great importance Gemini season, something could happen right now. The answers you seek are coming. Um, stay flexible in your approach. Follow the flow of events. For a lot of you, you're almost here. You're halfway around this turn, and um, something's going to happen here in Gemini season with your twin. Um, they perhaps are about to reach out or say something um, over DM or um, text you at just to ask how you're doing, or you could find out that they are going through a breakup here with a third-party karmic. You could find out that they are um, <clears throat> doing something something for some of you uh your throat chakra needs worked on this person's throat chakra needs worked on for sure twin flame straight out the deck you are the only one that has made me want to become a better person and stressed i'm having personal problems right now it's taking all of my attention yeah and obsessed here bottom of the deck the only thing the only thing I only think of you on two occasions, and that is day and night. What did I say? This person, you are living rent-free in their mind. My guides are just confirming, y'all. This person wants to become a better person, but there's something going on right now in their personal life. There's something going on, and I feel it is a breakup from a third party that they perhaps have uh, children with, or it could be an actual divorce, but there's something going on here in your twin's life that's stressing them out. Tell me, Spirit, what is the advice we can give to the twins right now, currently, current energy? Yeah, Divine Masculine, okay, I feel, focus on your own game. Stay in your lane, do this, and in due time, you will set up an extraordinary life. You're being guided, Spirit, saying focus on you. Focus on your healing journey right now. It's going to be important because it's in the making. You are entering a new reality, opening up new levels of you and where your best self exists. It's time to shine, so don't hold anything back. This union has opened something up inside of you. Meeting this person has opened you up uh, tremendously you are now seeing the world in a different way this love was very beautiful but very very transformational for you there is an excessive divine uh, as excessive masculine energy that needs to be balanced in order to feel harmonious within take a step back and find a more feminine approach um, d spirit is essentially saying if you are the one always making things happen always going to them always chasing them you're actually embodying uh, embodying a masculine energy so you're being guided to focus on your feminine energy of sitting back and receiving now if you've been working really hard or you're a single mother or whatever the case is you could be in a masculine energy I often embody a masculine energy myself, but it's important to learn how to receive. You may want to start drinking a lot of water, take a lot of baths. Water is a very feminine energy. Do a, um, a you can do a meditation to balance out your feminine energy but most of all get used to people helping you and receiving allow somebody to do something nice for you you deserve it allow yourself to receive right now because this person your counterpart is got to be the one that comes to you now you've done enough work so focus on yourself and it will send them healing energy as well i hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day Love and light.